Good morning, grade 6. Welcome to our English class. So today, we're going to talk about forms and conventions of film and moving picture. So let's define what is a film. A film, also called a moving picture, is a visual art form used to stimulate experiences that communicate ideas, stories, perceptions, feelings, beauty, or atmosphere. It is recorded or programmed in moving images along with sound and other conventions or devices. So let's talk about the different forms of films. First is action. Action is a genre that typically include violence, extended fighting, and physical fits. Next one is adventure. So, adventure is a genre whose plots features elements of travel. Next is comedy. Category of film which the main emphasis is on humor. This film is designed to make the audience laugh. Next is crime and gangster. So, these films... Films are developed around sinister actions of criminals or gangster. Next, we have drama. So, this genre of film is a serious presentations or stories with settings or light situations that portray realistic characters. Next is epic historical. So, this film is often take a historical or imagined event, mythic, legendary, or heroic figure. Next one is we have horror. This type of film is unsettling films designed to frighten and panic, cause dread and alarm. Next one is musical dance. So it is a cinematic form that emphasizes and showcase full-scale song and dance routines in a significant way. Films that are centered on combination of music, dance, song, and choreography. We also have science fiction. So this is a film genre that uses speculative fictional science-based depictions of phenomena that are not fully accepted by mainstream science like alien worlds, time travel, and robots or other technologies. And another one is your favorite, fantasy. So a film that belong to the fantasy genre with fantasy fantastic themes, usually magic, supernatural, mythology, and folklore. Fantasy films often have the element of magic, myth, and wonder. So, conventions can be based on what is presented and the expectations that have already been established within certain form. What distinguishes the different forms of films and moving pictures is the distinctive pattern, pattern of what is called convention. For example, when you open a clothes cabinet, so you, is, you expect that when you open that, you can see clothes, not kitchen utensils, right? Likewise, when the expected convention is broken, either surprise, you more, or shock is created. So plot, narrative structure, or the setting, characters, and events, a story in a book, film, or television series opens with one or more characters in a situation where an incident stirs up a conflict. So, tension is created by one or two conflicts until the situation reaches to the climax and it is resolved. Okay? 
we have structure of films and moving pictures. So, the structure of narratives in books and feature films differs from that of the TV or soap operas. So, TV soap operas are scripted, right? Created and show in segments. With the length of segments determined by how frequent and how long the advertising breaks are. A subplot is common to written narratives feature films, and TV soap operas or series. So we also have visual. Visual symbols like a rainy or gloomy weather, it might suggest sadness or depression. Also, motifs are in the form of the rain, sea, mud, and trees. These motifs are recurring or repeating. A physical as well as an emotional or mental journey form the basis of the structure of film narrative symbols and motifs unify narratives okay so we have the sound sound can also unify narratives providing recurring motifs a good example is the regular rhythmic and sinister musical beat in the film Jaws so the rhythmic sound is repeating and this is the signal that another shark attack or crisis is coming. We also have the themes. Themes, narratives of films and TV soap operas and series have themes or central ideas. So these themes can be interpreted by relating them to the expectations we already have and that resolve or revolve around the external and internal conflicts of the character in the story. So we have the forms, the essential structure of a visual language text, its organization, style, and sequence. So a film may be structured in flashback or contrasting sequences from plot and subplot. Next is the settings. Settings is the time and geographic location within a narrative, either non-fiction or fiction. So in a science fiction film, the setting is usually the future, right? The setting initiates the main backdrop and mood for a story. We also have codes. Codes are the common characteristics or conventions of any genre, including the film. We have the structural codes, include the plot, character, and setting, while the stylistic codes include lighting, shooting, sound, and music. Okay? So, thank you, Grade 6, for staying with me. I hope to see you again in our next class. Have a good day, stay safe, and goodbye!